The Titanic Model Reconstruction and Myth Conference of the 9th of June 2017 at Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition The Idea September 1985 Identification of the Wreck August 1986 Exploration of the Wreck very suggestive images begin to circulate. The occasion. 1986 already built two models with interiors. A young acquaintance, enthusiast of the Titanic, had identified the channel for obtaining information material from Harlan and Wolf. The documentation. With considerable difficulty, I managed to purchase four designs and 20 photographs from the Belfast shipyard. It was not possible to get the ship's construction plan. With the available designs, I started to build the hull and superstructures. The drawings showed the full bridges of interior spaces. This allowed me to organize the stratified construction with the anticipation of completing the model with the interior decor. Some photos showed the ship at different times. Others described some important rooms and cabins. The first problems. The time of building my model Titanic information was very scarce. By comparing the drawings with the main design I found one great difference to the walkway bridge. In practice I confused the Titanic with the Olympic. These two photos show, with absolute certainty, the launch of the Titanic. I understand the changes made to the Titanic, compared to the Olympic, only after rebuilding the superstructures three times. The first solutions. Nothing is more true than the statement that fortune favors the bold. Beginning to build such a demanding model, with the few initial information available, more than bold can be termed very risky. A shop specializing in Verez asked me to expose, in his shop window, my model during construction. A Titanic enthusiast saw my model and gave me a book that clarified all my doubts and turned out to be crucial for the future of the work. First of all I found some sections of the hull. This allowed me to correct the construction plan I had designed, which had significant defects in the starry parts. I then removed and rebuilt the parts of the hull affected by the defect, making the hull fit the correct. All the documentation was strictly in black and white. I then identified a number of styles and I prepared some sketches of walls and furniture. Here are some examples. With the help of an artisan restorer of antique furniture I have identified the most suitable colours. For every type of furniture I have built a wide range of furniture, wardrobes, toilets, wash basins, sofas. The furniture is in wood. I used very thin birch plywood 0.4mm and wooden bars. Mirrors are made with pieces of aluminum film for food. The taps are in brass wire. These photos show some furniture ready for onboard installation. Of course, the comparison, at the time, was done with 100 lira. The assembling. The four higher bridges, that is the boat deck, the promenade deck, the bridge deck, the shelter deck, they were built separately and arranged so that they could fit in one another. First all the rooms were built, then floors and walls were finished, finally furniture and other components were inserted. 
Fully pre-assembled model the boat deck, the promenade deck, the bridge deck, the shelter deck. The final closure. When each component was built the model was permanently mounted after making a lot of photographs, each bridge has been firmly glued to the underlying bridge. Up on the boats, the funnels, the rigging, the radio antenna. This operation has become necessary for, prevent the various parts, in wood, deformed over time to be able to fix all the rigging and minor components present in the upper bridges, avoid openings and demounts with deterioration of the parts, do not submit a ship from the tragic destiny to continuous, strippers. Titanic Soul for this model I took about 10 years. I built every single component trying, as much as possible, to identify myself in the work by reliving that sense of love and respect for the ships that matured in me when, many years ago, I was navigating as a engineer of machine. The decision to close the model was, and still is, very criticized. But I like to look at the model and know that it's not a simple empty box, though true to the original. Inside there is what I call the soul of the ship, that is, the premises where so many people have lived and unfortunately in many cases lost their lives. And I seem to perceive her presence now let's get on board we're going to see the most significant venues. We are at boat deck and we visit the bridge. In the foreground, Commander Smith's cabin. A little further on we find the famous scale of the clock. We go to the stern, keeping us on the side of Drita, and we find the gym with the most modern equipment. Now we go down to the bridge below, bridge A. Here we visit some of the first class cabins placed in front. At this bridge there are some important halls. We find the writing, reading room. And immediately afterwards the first class stay. We go to the stern until under the chimney N4, which is fake. Here is the first class smoking room. Against the aft wall we notice the fireplace on which, according to James Cameron's film, Thomas Andrew leaned the glass. Two more steps and we can enter the verandas and palm courts. We go down to Bridge B and take a look at the first class cabins located in the front. Then we move a little to the stern and find other first-class cabins, but much more spacious. The Titanic was characterized by the presence of two luxurious suites, one in Drita and one in the left. In one of these suites, director James Cameron set his film. We have traveled almost all the bridge, B, and finally you eat. Here is a nice restaurant with its own kitchen. The tables are already set and garnished with floral compositions. This is the kitchen where we also find the place where the wines and flowers are kept to decorate the tables. Next to the restaurant is the Café Parisien where we are offered, of course, a great French café. Still a descent and we arrive at Bridge C. Here we find, at the centre of the ship, the Office of Commissars. Towards the stern there is a barber shop. And, even further back, some second class rooms. What we are now seeing is a living room. The virtual navigation the most significant travels of the model. Tuesday, April 14, 1992, Network 4, Incontri Selaka, Titanic Special with Mino D'Amato. Tuesday, May 11, 1998, Network 4, La Macchina del Tempo, Titanic, Mystery Night with Alessandro Cecchi Pay 1. 
Saturday, March 31, 2012, Rye 3, Ulysse, Il Piazza della Scoperta. The Titanic's Long Night with Alberto Angela. Thursday, April 12, 2012, Rye 1, Porta Reporta. From Titanic to Concordia with Bruno Vespa. Our visit ends here. We saw how this Titanic's model was born and we made a walk inside. If you want to know more about this and other models, visit the site www.mitadelme.it. Thanks for the attention.